Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome to our fifth Let's Play here on the channel, Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. As I said in the announcement video, this game serves as a direct sequel to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and it is often referred as one of the greatest games in the entire series, so I'm super excited to bring it to you guys. I played this game a couple of times before in my past, uh, done a couple of 100% runs, a couple of, you know, just normal ones. I'm not as knowledgeable at this game as I am in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, however, we are still going to be able to have a ton of great conversations and in fact actually we're going to be uh, discussing the history of this game as we begin our beginning area so yeah we have a lot to get into in this episode I'm just gonna jump right into it this is my uh, personal test file I guess honestly we don't really need it let's go ahead and just erase it there we go oh looks like we have to save I'm running this off the collector's edition disc on my Nintendo Wii which I have outputting to HDMI Okay, let's save, and of course, we will name ourselves Link, just as we did about a year ago. Nearly to the day. That's weird, when we played The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay, well, here we go, as Link. Zero rupees, no heart pieces, mask out of zero, zero, three hearts. Let's hop right into it. Alright, so, this game picks up right as the end of Ocarina of Time is. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend that I didn't get to read that all. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. Beloved and invaluable and friend? Navi, really? A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. That text scrolled really quickly. So in the layman's terms, basically after Navi flies out the window at the end of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Link sets off to go and find her. So we're currently in an area of the Lost Woods, is, is where we shall be set in our scene in order to continue the game. That's Epona. This is the first time we see Link riding Epona as a, as a child. Usually we see Epona as the adult horse and Link as the adult. Right. Cool, we've also seen Link, uh, we're seeing him sport some new equipment-ish, we'll get into that uh, very very soon though. We're just gonna watch this opening cutscene now. So what we will see here is two fairies knock Link off of his horse, and apparently that knock completely just takes him out of it. And out of the shadows emerges a mask with a wearer. That is the, uh, that is a pretty creepy thing. I'll give it that. Hee <laughs> hee, you two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Hmm, this guy? Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Yes, welcome back my lovely voices that this game so awesomely allows me to do. Although this this kid's voice not, might, might not stick around. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Ooh, ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, school kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't, Tail. What would he do if you dropped it and broke it? No way you can't touch it. Aw, but sis, why can't I try it out too? Uh oh, here comes Link. <laughs> He's playing with the Ocarina of Time, like the actual Ocarina of Time. <laughs> this is a pretty funny scene actually, I've never really paid much attention to it. <gasps> Skull Kid is apparently his name and he steals our horse and Link grabs on for dear life to something, maybe opponent's little sa- I don't know, not wearing a saddle, holding on to the leg I guess? He's kinda- he's gonna give himself many many grass burns. That would be absolutely awful. However, eventually, Link can't hold it. Oh no! No! Oh, he falls. And voila! We get to gain control of our hero. All right, perfect. So let's get into some of the history of this game very, very briefly. The controls are the exact same as the word Legend of Ocarina of Time. You can spin attack, you can regular attack. 
Uh, let's pause the game really quickly. As you can see, we have the mask screen, the select item screen, the map screen, and the quest status screen. The two new things we have here are the Kokiri sword, which looks a lot different than it did in the first game, and the hero's shield, which is something brand new. Okay, so let's talk about how this game came to be. After the grand commercial success that was Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the developers wanted to make more. And, uh, well, actually, maybe they didn't want to make more, but they were going to make more. <laughs> and um, the series director said, you know, we're releasing this brand new expansion for the Nintendo 64. It's going to give it a ton more power, and uh, we want you to show off something for that. And uh, as such, the developers said, uh, okay, we will make a game. And the game is going to be called Ura Zelda, which translated, I believe, means another Zelda, or bonus Zelda, something of that sort. Uh, however, the developers did not want to do it, so uh, they asked, can we make a new game? And Nintendo said, oh, okay, you have one year. And this is what we ended up with. So, originally, of course, as I said, it was going to be for an expansion, which is why Link does cool crazy flips as he jumps. It was to show off all the extra power of the console. Okay, let's... Uh, Stop talking about the history of the game for a little bit and experience the story. Hmm, how about that? Any story fans here? By the way, as always with a new Let's Play series, I need to make sure that the audio is balanced. Um, so if, if this episode's a little too loud or too quiet, uh, the next episode will be nice and set, or the episode after that. I don't know. Anyway, we fall and all these symbols appear and it's pretty wild. Ooh, splat. There's Link. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. it he has a different voice because he has the mask on, by the way. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Heh <laughs> heh. Aw, boohoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. This is a stupid voice. I'm gonna stop doing it. Oh, come on now. Do you really think you can beat me as I am now, fool? It's a little weird, and then we'll explain it. Anyway, so he starts shaking his head, and the mask goes all weird, and, uh... I guess Link kind of falls into a... Nightmare or something? I don't know. Kind of got, like, the, the horror game vibes where it, like, flickers between two different, uh, cuts. Anyway, Link gets surrounded by Deku Scrubs! Ah, no! We've seen Deku Scrubs in the previous, uh, Zelda Let's Play here. No! He's running away. Run away, run away, run away! It's getting bigger! Oh! There it goes. Okay. <gasps> now it's gonna happen. <gasps> Link is not Link anymore! He's a Deku Scrub! Oh, and he sounds different. That's funny. Hee <laughs> hee! Now that's a good look for you! You'll stay here looking that way forever! <laughs> and he's gonna float backwards. No! Bonk! <laughs> so that fairy is, I guess, gonna stay back and attack us. S Sis! The door slams shut. And a fairy is left behind. Whoa, whoa! Skull Kid, wait for me! I'm still here! Tail, you can't leave without me! Oh. Left behind. Wah, wah. You! If it wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother! Well, don't just sit there, Deku's boy! Do something! Why are you looking at me like that? What, is there something stuck on my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on! I hope this little girl is asking you, so hurry up! Oh, Tail, I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. Yes, so we are now Skull Kid, or my, not Skull Kid, Deku Link! We do not have our sword, we do not have our shield, we can only spin like a ballerina, and we can open doors, I guess. There we go. So yeah, this is Majora's Mask. We are now cursed. Hey, wait for me! Don't leave me behind! So, um, that stuff back there? I, um, apologize. So, so take me with you! You want to know about that Skull Kid just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good, so then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that Skull Kid. My name's Tattle, so uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we've got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up on the C stick and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully we'll manage to get by without my help until then. <laughs> 
my thoughts exactly, Deku Link. Alright, so, I guess it is worth mentioning that this is commonly referred to as Deku Link, and not just, you know, he's, he's Link as a Deku Scrub. He can burrow into plants, and he can pop out with these flower petals. Sometimes it's called the Petal Copter. It's got a couple of names. Anyway, it's the dive ability that we're talking about here, and then we can jump and hover for a short amount of time. It's worth mentioning that if you don't touch any buttons, he'll start to kick, and then eventually the Petal Copter will fall. Well, when it gets to later in the game, it'll fall. This is like a tutorial stage, so it's not going to fall yet. Uh, let's head over here, actually. There's a chest, first chest of the game. Let's open her up and see what we got. We've got a Deku Nut. We can press B while flying to drop a Deku Bomb. These are the same Deku Nuts as from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. However, as Deku Link, instead of using them on the C-Stick, we can drop them with the B button in midair and make this flash. Boom. That'll obviously deal damage to enemies, or stun them at least, so, you know, good a little thing to have here. We can just continue going around. Kickity kickity kick, come on! Made it. Hey you, come on, press L and talk to me! Here we go, and talk to Tattle. There you go, see? You can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use L to look at them so you can talk to them. Use L targeting to talk to people, even if they're far away. Or, if there's no one to target, you can use L to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out! So obviously Tattle basically replaces Navi as far as functionality goes, even though they look the exact same, they have very different personalities. Let's check out this tree. It's strange, but the way you look right now sort of looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like I could start crying any second now. How sad. Dark and gloomy? Oh, that's actually a reminder, I need to uh, switch my controls from lock L to hold L. I'll fix that between this video and the next one. Yeah, creepy twisted room that was definitely a reused asset from uh, the forest temple in the last game. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of reused motifs and assets in this game, so just be warned. That's not necessarily a bad thing, and it's honestly a result of the fact that uh, the developers remade or made this game in only a year. So instead of making brand new assets, they used a lot from their previous game on the platform. Okay, let's walk towards the store now. Here we go. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Happy Mask Salesman returning from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in a much more prominent role. I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss. And now I've found you. Now don't think me rude, but I've been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What? It is not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it to me back before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you're young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. Well, okay, we have our task. If we get back our ocarina and his mask, he will turn us back into normal Link. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Clock Town. All right, there's a ton to cover, and I'm gonna do it really quickly here. So basically, and essentially, what we have here is a three-day cycle system. Uh, we have three days in order to get what we need to do, and they're obviously in-game days, not real days. He gives me the creeps. That mask salesman was the, sorry, just thinking aloud, but three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with only 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're gonna go see the great fairy. Look, you wanna find the school kid, don't you? The great fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, Skulka is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate. You'll find the Great Fairy in there. Alright, yes, so, we have three days. You can see at the very bottom of the screen there is a clock-ish looking thing. It's not really a clock, it's, it's weird how it works. But in the middle it'll say first, second, or third, in order to tell you which day you're on, and it'll say the hour as well. So we have three days in order to go around this town and figure out everything we need to do. Please leave me alone, dog. The dog will attack you if you're a Deku. Okay. Uh, leave me alone, please. Thanks. That's the shield. Okay. So, yes, uh, we're in Clock Town, and uh, unfortunately, 
that's actually going to be all we can do in this video. I'm going to catch you guys all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Please, please, please share this video around, guys. I love to have these new series on the channel. They always blow up at the start and we get a ton of new people involved in the community. Really, really great thing. But anyway, yeah, guys, that's going to do it all for me now. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me and you're just throwing our videos around. I'll catch you all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Until then, as always, take care.